What's up? What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday night, and you know by now, this is Brown Sugar Confessions coming to you on Power 1017. I am your resident sexologist and host, Doc Val, and we are so excited again to come to you in your living rooms, hopefully in your bedrooms, as we talk about spicy things like sex relationships and whatever else we feel like talking about tonight. So, and I'm in a really sexy mood, so who knows where to go. Miss Trees, what is up with you? Nothing. I'm glad to be back. Promotion and I'm going to school full time and it is blowing my mind. Yeah, <laughs> not ready for all of this. So I had to take some time and readjust my schedule. So I have an actual work home life balance that took a good amount of time and finagling and wrangling. Wrangling people is like wrangling cats. Absolutely. It's very Mm -hmm. hard, but we found a happy medium so far, but we know as the holidays approach, it, it gets even crazier. So I'm just glad to be back. We missed you, girl. We were talking mad trash about you. Like, when are you coming back? Where are you? Who are you with? Snacks. I know it. Like, honestly, we didn't have any juicy stories, you know, compared to you anyway. So welcome back, baby girl. Dee, how are you? You look lovely back there. Thank you. I'm doing fabulous. I we are on our countdown to like the last 20 something days of Christmas or wherever we're at now. So we 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 are seeming to be into some very interesting times. 2022 is almost over. Then we got to prepare for tax season 2023. It's nice. wild, but you know, I'm doing very well. Just getting prepared for the holiday season. I will also be starting a new job. So I'm really excited about that here shortly. To have both of you. Okay. Do you? Yes. And this will actually be my first management position. So I'm very excited as well. Congratulations, you two Thank superstars. You. Wow. All right. So that's some good news to share. Y'all are. Moving on up, hey, moving on up, Lisa. moving no. on up. Lord knows I can't sing. I wish I could, but I know I, I can't carry a tune. But you and Georgia, you better have, don't go with the weather. I will kick your butt. I mean, you're <laughs> going to have to catch me to kick me, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold down here. I don't like it. But I do want to remind everybody, if you've made it this far with your significant other, congratulations. You are now in game time. Of game the timeline time. of cuffing season. Game time. game time. So you guys got to make it to February before you hit the finals, whether it's a make or a break. So just keep that in mind. And if you're looking for things to keep the relationship spicy until the finals of cuffing season, stay tuned because I think you're going to like what we're going to talk about in this episode. I agree with you, Miss T. It is going to be a fun episode because in this one, guys, you know, it's the holiday season. Um, we're going to talk about things that you can buy for yourself and for your partner and you can use as a couple. We're going to talk about sex toys and we're going to recommend some fun things for you guys to use. Now, I'm also going to do something a little different. I'm going to talk about like the 16 different kinds of orgasms. Yes, I there are 16 of them now um, and recommend toys that can benefit that particular type of orgasm. So you need to get your pen and paper because you're going to want to take some notes behind this one. So stop what you're doing and get it. I know, get it, write it down. But don't worry, I'm also going to have the links and the pictures to all of these toys that you can buy right on our website. You can also check it out on YouTube. We're going to talk about it, show it. Um, And we're just going to jump right into it. But before we do, I think Trees had like a fun, hot topic we want to talk about tonight. What is it, girl? I'm ready for this I don't necessarily know if this is a hot topic. I think this is more of a question of where are we at, humanity? Okay, Uh, I could go with that. (laughs) Wait, do I need my drink for this? You might need a drink. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. Get your drink. All right. Let me take the drop off. You got time. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. We're going to talk about a very sensitive topic 
topic to a lot of people. Um, We see this in the headlines left and right. And people are talking about uh, what's the, what's the saying? What do you bring to a table? If she isn't uh, a virgin, she's considered of lesser value. Right. Uh, There's a remedy for you besides that expensive plastic surgeon or Ellen. (laughs) So there is something called a quote unquote hymen capsule that will help you get the appearance appearance of restore, restored virginity. And uh, the question is, is, is it really this serious at this point? Like cap, like, come on y'all, we got it's do all better. cap. It's all cap. <laughs> As we know, the jazzling whitening and tightening creams are sold by the millions across the globe, across the globe. Right. Mm -hmm, Right. Mm -hmm. And we know what these agendas are. They're to make you seem more desirable, I guess. I don't know. We're worried. I don't think so. More more pure, more. I I don't even want to. I don't even know. I don't even want to use that because it's such a, but we're going to get into that later. Rain it in Virgo. Rain it in. Okay. Break it in. in. (laughs) So (laughs) there are these pills that you can take that, well, you don't swallow them, you insert them. And what happens oh. is, oh, yeah, oh. you can insert them. And it is this, it's a powder that mixes with your own fluids. And as the capsule is dissolved, the fluids, the powder mixes with your fluids. So it comes out and it looks like blood. It looks like what? What? Blood. So I so- you know that well, whole situation of, of back in the day, like when they used knew, to test, <laughs> when they used to have to do the test to determine whether you were a virgin, if you were a female, or you have lady parts, and you had to bleed. Yep, that's how you get around the bleeding. So maybe it is. So I'll say this much: I think that if this is mostly being used in places where people are still practicing those sort of behaviors then it's pretty revolutionary otherwise ladies from here come on do not do not satiate that bs that's all i gotta say and here's the other side of this and i'm sure dr val can speak on this but as somebody who has been a nurse you're putting an unknown substance in a very deep cavity and i don't want to say deep deep but it's dark and it's moist you Mm -hmm. don't know exactly what's in there So let's assume that they're using healthy products, right? Like, ooh, Mm. you can still get bad UTIs. You can Uh still get bacterial vaginosis. You could have an allergic reaction Uh to all Uh of these things and not including yourself, your internal organs. What is this doing to your mental and emotional state? Two, Uh this could have an adverse reaction to your partner. Uh, I know a woman, her partner, and her decided to use it's it's the insertion of the spermicide. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. They used it and and they didn't understand what they were doing. And he they commenced to having fun. And in the first three seconds, he had to pull out and they had to take him to the ER because he was burning. Is the patriarchy worth it? Is your physical and mental health worth it. Now, if it is, if you live in a community where it is seen like if you are not this, then you are, you know, something bad can happen to you. Absolutely Mm -hmm. do this. I'm not passing judgment. What I'm saying, if you live in a place where this is, it does not need to be that, it does not need to be that. Right. And if somebody says to you, no hymen, no diamond, first of all, say this, look, if you got to take it there, then I'm reversing the same thing on you. Men who have lots of sex, your eggplants are probably really small. That's the rumor that I heard because y'all be losing it. So, if you out here doing that, right, then you don't need to be over here with me. And anyway, you don't want, I know everybody want, well, not everybody, but a lot of people have that imagine like, oh, you're a virgin. This is great. You don't want that because you, you have to teach them. And when they fail horribly, it's on your head. Yep. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. You know, <laughs> it's really, I don't want to say it's sad, but it's telling of our times that we as women, you know, Lotus holders, how you want to identify is your business are still so concerned about that little piece of tissue 
I mean, you th- women get killed over it and some mm-hmm. cultures, if it's not, yep. women are re- getting rejuvenated to restore that piece of, of tissue. But the funny and thing now, is, is that it that tissue don't even work like that. It's not plastic wrap that something pokes through it and it breaks. No. That's not how it works. That's not how the hymen functions. Like I had this whole conversation with one of my coworkers, my male coworker, because he did not know that's how it functioned. So I, I think most men don't miss tea. Yeah. Explain it. Yeah, so go ahead. Like, go knock it out. Right. Instead of it being like a hole, like if you imagine yeah. a hole that has like aluminum foil, a lot of people think that your hymen is that aluminum foil. And once you pop it, it bleeds and that's it. That is not how it works. Like if I remember correctly, your hymen is more like an arch. So mm-hmm. this is why a lot of times most women break their hymens before they even get to have sex. Right. Like whether they're riding a bike, whether they're riding a horse, where they're like just running and just having to hit the sports wall. The way, activities, sports clearly. activities. It's gone before they even have their first time in most cases. But mm-hmm. a lot of times it just arches. And when it arches and it has that initial tear, that's what causes the quote unquote bleeding. And even, th- even then, it's not a lot of blood. It's like a spot. Mm-hmm. If you bleed. Exactly. And that's mm-hmm. if you bleed. If it's not even guaranteed that you will believe, but there's so much consciousness around that little piece of, of tissue that, you know, as we know, some cultures, you know, a woman can be killed. If it's not intact. You know, you could lose your dowry if it's not intact. If, if your father has, or your parents have, you know, paid a dowry, you have to give it back because it's not intact or not. And even the U.S., you know, the hymen is so, it's that wanted, sought after piece of tissue that says, what about a woman that were pure, that were virgins, that were, is it that were clean? Is that what it is? Is that if it's intact? You're Everybody's clean. just scared of blood. That's all it is. I have Listen, no it's just about ego. That. That's all. It's only about yeah. ego. It's, I, it's ego. I think so. It's, it's about, about ego. ego. But again, when we look at the whole picture of like the patriarchy, right, we have to take into account why women wear fake eyelashes. Most people don't know where they can't, they come from. Or fake what the eyelash- original purpose was. Yeah. So fake eyelashes really come back from the Roman time period. Um, mm-hmm. It was thought that when you had intercourse for the first time, because it was so amazing, your eyelashes would fall out. And yes, oh. so the, I never yes. heard that one. That's Hold on, one for me. Oh, is that a oh. kinky fact? No, no, it's not a kinky. That's kinky fact. history. It's just, That's kinky it's just history. something that is history. But so the most desired were who had young, who had long eyelashes, young boys, young girls. Hmm. You know what? I'm I'm using that on the next time I sleep with somebody. Look, you ain't made my eyelashes fall out. And I'm never calling you again. <laughs> But that's how deep this, that's how deep and ingrained this, it it is utterly ridiculous. I know people only because I worked at a uh, plastic surgeon's office for a little bit. Mm -hmm. A woman came in and she told her boyfriend that she was a virgin. They were about to get married in like eight months and she had a surgery. She had a full on surgery. Mm, To restore it to restore it. And she was like, if he finds out it's over. And I'm like, if it's that one thing that breaks it, are you sure? That's what you want to get into. Wow. That's what you want to get into. Uh-huh. It's, it's bananas. It is bananas. I don't know um, why we put so much emphasis on that, but I'm leaning to what you guys said. It's about ego for, for the guys. And I guess also cultures. But then you also know, you got to remember back in the that day, culture is still about supporting male ego. True. So yeah. like it's part, the same, on right? one side, you have the male ego of the father mm-hmm. and the fact that I've raised these wonderful girls that are complete virgins and they're good girls. And then on the other side, it's like, I'm a man who's good enough to be able to get this brand new fresh woman that I'm the only person that could touch. It's, it's completely part of even our society today, even if, they're not as focused on hymen and purity, you know, things that they can point to. There is still a lot of ego about not having women that's had too many partners or having a woman that's only had eyes for them. Like it's weird. And it's all 
hundred percent centered around the male ego. You don't want my body count, but you want my skills. And Mm. that's the way this works. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) And the other thing to remember is back in the day. God, I miss you. uh, (laughs) Back back in the day, uh, women were property. You Mm. were property of your father until you became property of your husband. Right. So it's almost like the whole brand new car thing. I need to set up, sell this car. In order mm-hmm. to get it off my hands, get into someone else's hands, but I made I need this car to be in pristine condition, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's but, how I think. But we're not in the back is. of the days no more, Miss. Yeah, we're so not. Why yeah, we're not still, in the back of the days. Why are we still so fascinated? It takes by like the hymen. it takes at least what two, four, five hundred years before like a concept leaves a society. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we and still got to work through that. We I hope it leaves do. soon. We do. When it comes to that and understanding virginity and, you know, why it's so sacred and what, what we do as a culture, an American culture, because we have our own culture, you know, around this, we're getting rejuvenated. We're pretending we're putting things inside of ourselves to simulate blood, I guess, like you, he's broken the hymen. And no, I, I don't condone it. I don't even recommend it because we don't know what those chemicals are. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't recommend my daughter or my granddaughters to do something like that. You need to be honest with your partners, ladies, and be who you are and be authentic and show up that way. That's I, what I want to say. To I you. say like this, stop destroying yourself over small men. Right, because I'm stop over here like this. I would stop destroying, destroying your lotus over little individuals. Oh, I like that. And what I'm mean? being very. I'm trying to be clean because you know the FCC will come for us if I'm not. But that's essentially what it is. Stop destroying yourself over these little individuals. Because think about there's a lot of things that like our parents did, our grandparents did, our great grandparents did. Douching. Yeah. Douching. Do they still up. make douche anymore? Or is yes. that still on the market? Yes. It's still on the market. Uh, alum yeah. powder. There was a whole, uh, somebody had posted a video. One of my friends posted a video talking about how this one lady on TikTok was recommending women put alum powder inside of them to tighten up their uh, lotus. Oh, again, tightening up. Does, is that a thing? Apparently, well, I'm sorry. I might need works. you to break that one down for me because yeah. I'm not sure where alum powder I, is. I don't know what I this is. I don't know what alum powder is, but I do right, remember seeing it, it in them old it. Tom and Jerry videos. Those Tom and Jerry cartoons. You mean like the stuff that people put on? No, that's oh, something like else. You put it in his mouth and his mouth just puckered up really big. Yeah, it's a drying mm. agent. It's a yeah. drying agent. So it is. Oh, what like, is it? It's it alum can also powder? be A-L-U-M. Yeah, alum powder. Uh, you can use okay. it for canker sores, stuff like that. Like it dries it out. That's mm. that's what it does. So essentially, the alum powder going up there is is drying it out, and it because it's drying out. So the they're skin, purposely the trying to make it uncomfortable for themselves because um, husband stitch husband a, stitch, a stitch, drying right? agent down mm-hmm. there is the last thing I want. I kind of enjoy enjoying myself. But that's saying. what you had to do to keep them like, and I'm not, and I'm not like, I don't look any. But this is, but Missy say this is, this is. I thought you said that this is something people were picking up today as a yeah, because they showed up on TikTok once again. You can't follow all the TikTok trends. Yeah. Y'all do y'all research. Y'all better Google the snot out of it before you try to do it. Alum, but it yeah, is, I'm reading it now. There isn't. They're selling it on Amazon. Yep, and, and they're Alum selling powder. these pills on these in suppository pills on Amazon and India Mart. So we know where this is like where this mm-hmm. really comes from, but let's not pretend like American women are not having to lay down uh, in front of their, their soon to be father-in-laws and be checked. Mm-hmm. This is, this is still happening today, mm-hmm. but on the opposite side of like getting, you know, getting yourself tightened at are doing the suppositories. There's also the other side of this where women have to, like me, get a spacer in. What's a spacer look like? What is a spacer? It's a little round thing that goes right like like a pin. Like a <laughs> um so I have a condition where um my muscles are very overactive down there. Like extremely overactive. I can per my doctor and my physical therapist for my Lotus down there. I am not allowed to do another Kegel. 
Oh, so you got that snapper snapper. Yeah. You got a mouse snapper 3000. Look, just look. The way Prince made that song about me. Ma'am. <laughs> 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 But Dang. sometimes you have to get like people, um, and I'm sure Doc Val has seen this, people who have atrophied, you may have to have some assistance to open it up. It's like gapping for your ears. Like, you know, mm-hmm. the people that do the the, the spacing for your ears for, for down there. Um, and I honestly, when I, <laughs> when I first had it done, I was like, this is going to take away my abnormal power. Like, how will I con- control these mundane men now? Like, oh Lord Jesus. Is that just gonna take away your power that you got on 2020 in the Great Conjunction? <laughs> like, how do I control these mortal men now? But I'll tell you what. And, and sex and intercourse has always been enjoyable for me, always, but it's even more enjoyable now. It uh, wow. it allows for more, uh, I don't know how to say, it. I'm gonna say a smooth transition upon insertion. Okay. Okay. It it allows me that space where I'm like, oh, okay, like this is not terribly uncomfortable and I don't have to do like the frog stance for like 20 minutes before we even do it. You got to get warmed up down there. Yeah, I got to get, yeah, like that's literally how it was. And luckily for me, I am a bit of a pain freak, so it didn't really bother me. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm on the other side of it, I'm like, oh, is this how normal women feel? Is this what this feels like for normal women? And the doctor's like, yeah. And I'm like, like wow. it, it dropped my jaw and made me cry for a little bit. But at the oh. same time, not too much because, you know, your girl likes what she likes. I know so. what you like, girl. We <laughs> all know on Radio Land and TV Land what you like. But, you know, the one and we're not telling us to go get spacers. You know, you need to go talk to your doctor, go talk to your GYN. But there are so many things on the market and to all our toys yet. We're trying to, and what, what Teresa is talking about is not a toy, by the way. Um, <laughs> it, it is something medically approved to help you. Um, but this other stuff, like this vast assertion of the Hyman restoration, yeah, ladies, don't do it. You know, if you ain't got to do it, don't do it. Don't do Never it. Be exactly. His piece. We, Never be his piece is my yes. us. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, we don't know what those chemicals are you're putting inside yourself. It's fairly new. Prick your finger, rub it on the sheet. I don't know. But anyway, I think we got to go to break, don't we? Soon? <laughs> That's what I said. Actually, yeah, we, we are we are closing in for break time. Are we? But I want yeah. can I say that, though? KD, like, let's, like, like, no, I can't. Okay, let's, I'll shut we, let's up. save it for the next. Uh, right. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's actually. So, I I still have a question. However, so okay. with with this device, is this something you have to go to your doctor to go get, or is this mm. something you could just buy like off of Amazon, or is it something that's absolutely a prescription? What the spacer? Yeah, like yes. I, I gyn. Yeah, I had to go to my GYN and then once my GYN saw what was going on, I went to the physical therapist and the physical therapist was like, you need a lot of help. And Mm. I was just like, why is it always I'm at the extreme? And then they sent me back to the physical therapist and we kind of talked about a couple of different options and how we would do this. Mm -hmm. So is it something that has to be used like indefinitely or is it just like you know for me for me yeah it has to be used indefinitely we we took it out at one point and uh yo that snapper almost snapped somebody's neck (laughs) 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 just chomp just like that look y'all ever see that horror i don't be putting folks in the hospital for nothing (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm calling, you t- I'm calling you T from here on out, <laughs> girl. So we oh had to. So I have to keep it in uh, indefinitely until you know my muscles can relax. But I don't see that in my foreseeable foreseeable future. Upon talking to my granny and talking to my sister and my aunts, like this is a very this is a genetic condition. For all of us, all of y'all got wow. snappers. Yeah. All of them got snappers, Dang. but that oh makes my. sense. That's why my granny was balling like she was. <laughs> all right, well, hold on. Out here, notes. 
I think it is time for us to go ahead to break. So guys, make sure you go grab your drinks, grab your snacks. While you're at it, go to our YouTube channel and make sure you hit follow on Brown Sugar Confessions. Come on back and we are going to have a nice little conversation about toys. So we'll see you soon. Only on Power 1017. Welcome back to Brown Sugar Confessions on Power 1017. First of all, we'd like to stop and thank each and every one of our listeners for tuning in every week and sometimes listening to us on Spotify. (laughs) We want to thank you for your continued love and support as we share and grow our community. We want to slide over and say thank you to everyone on YouTube. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. For tuning in and seeing our gorgeous faces. It takes time for us to do this. And it takes just as much time for you to sit down, click, listen, and enjoy. And we appreciate the time and effort that you put into our our relationship. We love you to the playroom and back. Oh, girl. I I know, right? I just thought of that. Girl, that that sounds. I I got a slogan for a (laughs) t-shirt. Yeah, we need to put that on a t-shirt. Stat. Stat. Stat, Dr. Bell. So... We're talking about brown sugar confessions. Now, do you want to confess or tell us a funny story or ask us a question? Or do you want to ask us, hey, am I the a-hole? Are you? Look, (laughs) reach out to us. Reach out to us at brown sugar confessions. Exactly the way it is spelled is how you do it. Brown sugar confessions at gmail.com. You can also find us on YouTube. You can find us on Spotify. We are on Instagram. And if you really want to get down with the get down, you need to go to Doc Val's TikTok because that's where all the magic happens. Mm, now, girl. <laughs> now, if you need a non judgmental set of ears and eyes to help you heal, to help you grow, to better your relationship, I highly recommend you reaching out to Doc Val. Not only has she been, my relationship is on point now. Like, stop it. (laughs) You can reach out to her at Valerie at swancenter.com. I'm going to say it real slow for you. V-A-L-E-R-I-E at swan S-W-A-N-N C-E-N-T-E-R dot com reach out to her now we're going to talk about what's coming up i hope in the future interviews of brown sugar confessions we are talking about some body builders with doc val because she is going to joe weeder olympia fitness and performance weekend now i expect to see buns and more buns and pecs and baby oil yeah and 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 i mean liquids yeah, all that. So all much that. baby oil. Like if we say it from Texas, you slicked up like a pig. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to see. I <laughs> am so excited for this one, you guys. I, I'll be press at the uh, Olympia Fitness Competition. So I will be shooting from there uh, in a couple of weeks. I think it's the 13th or so. I forget the date. I don't know when it is. Um, but we'll air it on Brown Sugar. And I'll be talking to the competitors. As we discuss, what does it mean for a bodybuilder when it comes to their relationship? We all saw on Netflix, they had that show. What was it called? I forgot. Killer Katie. Queen, something like that. Killer. Oh, 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 what was her name? Killer Sally. Killer Sally. That's what it was. Mm. No one really talks about the pressures of that profession and how it is in their relationships. Um, you're just looking at the outside of these amazing physiques, but in their homes, how they deal with that in their bedrooms, how do they deal with that? When you're training your body for eight hours a day, and you know, testosterone. I don't know. I think a lot of people are going natural. I don't know. Yeah, that's but a that's, class. No, there you is, guys are there class. is a natural class, and there is also a class that is not natural for yeah, right. There are there are two very distinct. There's the natural, the natties, as they like to be called, the natty mm-hmm. lights. <laughs> and you got the the other ones. Right. The Olympians. Yeah. Everything goes. 
So and I'm doing a lot of homework on this world because I'm not that knowledgeable. And I already told my husband, I was like, okay, honestly, I'm going to feel like a, a, a sow next to these incredibly. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna feel like a sow. I'm gonna say it. I'm so worried. I'm glad you said a sow. I am. I I said it, okay? Judge me, but I said it. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel it. These women are the last time I heard anybody use the word sow. Probably from your great grandmother. That's where I got mine from. Okay. I I know it's been at least five years. (laughs) I'm an old woman, Miss T. What can I say? I forgot that word exists. It is honestly how I feel. I mean, I'm going to sit next to, to these women that have 0% body fat and I'm going to be like munching on chips or whatever. But here's the thing. While they have 0% body fat, they may not have a period. They yep. may not have it's curves. Yep. They Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what muscle. you see is one thing. What they see is another. And all you can do is live in your truth. You're going to get this courageousness. Mm-hmm. It's going to be on. Because I got some That's outfits it. too. You about and to get some numbers. You listen, that, right? so one of the questions I want to know from some of the people who are attending is, what are their rituals in advance? Because Ooh, I know when I used to wrestle... Down. When I used to wrestle, we had rituals of not having any intercourse or any relations of that sort prior to a match. So I'm going to guess they probably have rituals in which they may, if they're training for an event, they may like forego some of those extracurricular activities. So I'm they sorry. Prepare. I'm going to go back to you because you said you were wrestling. <laughs> you think yes. I'm going to let that slide? Yes, you <laughs> wrestler. <laughs> She was wrestling, taking dudes down. Like, what kind of wrestling? Because, you know, that woman, that killer Sally, she did She that. wrestled. That's she what, wrestled. when I that saw that, did? I was like, oh, my God, I missed my calling. I, I didn't know that I could get paid to, like, It's big in dude. Texas. It's mm. big in Texas. Oh, my goodness. But, no, I was on the boys' wrestling team when I was in high school. So, oh. um, I was a actual, you know, Olympic-style wrestler. Oh, that's look badass. at you. Okay. I love it. You know, You're about to you get are... a whole bunch of new fans after this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, you, you, you can't just throw out, I used to wrestle and like, don't think someone's going to ask you about it. Okay. Because I thought you were wrestling like that Sally chick. I'm like, you were throwing around guys too? I mean, I was, was technically, technically, yeah. because technically, I was on the boys wrestling team. So I was a girl on the boys wrestling team. So I was throwing guys around and I promise you some of them looked like those guys on that show. <laughs> wow. that's <laughs> I love it. I got I more. I got more questions for you, too, about your wrestling career, especially when I come back from Vegas now. I might be all inclined and incentivized to go ahead and get my body right. I don't know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. You're going to mm. get you're going to go have like a whole bunch of new followers. Did we I mention hope. that Doc Val might be a cult leader? We're we're not sure yet. <laughs> we're not sure yet, but she's going to get a whole bunch of devotees after this, I guarantee. You. Mm-hmm. Especially mm-hmm. she picks up wrestling. Oh my god, could you imagine me with a whole bunch oh. Anyway, let me get my mind out the dungeon. Let me just put it back to brown sugar. Okay, because that's where I just I just went down a slippery slope <laughs> as I'm thinking of these guys, you know, with whips. But okay, let me help my mind. All right, <laughs> Miss Trees, I have a question for you yes, because I, I want to know something. So you just can't like, I think what Katie was saying, you just can't go to Walmart and Amazon and go buy this spacer. So you, you I think one thing that we didn't go into is that you had to go to your doctor because you were having some kind of physical concerns with yes. your sexuality um, and you went to your doctor, right? Well, uh, okay. So here's the honest truth about this. I wasn't yeah. necessarily having physical concerns about it mm-hmm. because I assumed everyone sex was this painful for everyone. I really did. I assumed that. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until we were recording a show about sex and everybody was talking about upon entry. And I, and I, if you watch the video, I'm literally like this. No, this is recent. Yeah. I did not realize most people didn't. I thought, I, I thought this was everyone. So I went to the doctor because I'm like, let me ask if this is if this is normal for myself. Let me find if, if this is what this is. And I go to the doctor and, and I have an amazing doctor. And she was like, there is a lot of <laughs> muscle down there. So let's send you to the pelvic floor specialist, which I had to go to the pe- pelvic floor specialist. And the first 
time I went in there, I had to go. She wanted me to come twice a week. So I was going to the therapist twice a week for an hour where she is manually trying to stretch, to stretch me. And it was Mm -hmm. not working. Like as she would stretch, my muscle would go clank. It would tighten up. You were just gripping. It, It was a grip. And she was just like, and what was funny is, is she goes, do you practice your Kegels? And I said, you know what I did when I first had, after I had my kid, I was like, yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I'm going to play a song for you. Can you match the beat? She played Bombs Over Baghdad by Outkast and I could hit every beat. And saying, not okay. only could I hit every beat here, I could hit it here and I could, I can fluctuate where my muscles are. That's how cognizant I am of my muscles down there. And she was just like, you need to never do another Kegel again. So no (laughs) more Kegels for you. She was like, no more. She goes, your muscles are so tight and Mm -hmm. overbuilt that. And I had to come home and ask my partner, like, is it? And they were just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You heard like, say, so okay. Yeah. yeah. And I, I didn't realize it. There. I didn't realize it. And on put upon asking them, like, even if I'm in different positions, is it too tight? And they're like, there's one position that when you hit your O and we're in it, it really feels like when you clamp down, it is a vice grip. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. And I felt bad because I thought this was normal. It's not normal. It's not normal. No, it's not. You you never shared that. I mean, of course, you're not going to share it in the show. And well, you just did, honestly. I mean, I just did because I'm in a healthy did. space right now, right. and I know that I'm not. I'm not the only one in this. This process. This isn't getting talked about enough. No, it's mm-hmm. not. No. So you were having painful sex. I um, I was. I, but I, I'm, I'm a pain the, nerd. I'm, right I'm pain on nerd. the entrance of yeah on the uh, upon the entrance yeah mm-hmm. you were having painful sex okay yeah. so yeah that's a you know, you never shared that. Thank you for sharing it on the on the show. To all the listeners are probably, oh, that's you know, we love you, Trees. Thank you for. <laughs> that's why we need you in this show because you just, you know, you just enlighten us what what you're going through. I mean, I wouldn't have thought about it, but it is a great topic to talk about. Um, that you should not be having pain when you're having sex, and I'm happy that Brown Sugar was having that show. And I remember the show that we did about that. Um, but I did not know that that show inspired you to go and seek help. And yeah. now you're no longer having pain. That makes us feel good. See, that's why we're here. Yeah, and if you watch the hungry. video, the whole time you guys are talking, I'm like. Just mouth wide open. Mouth open like a fish. <laughs> I was like, I did not know. And I, at one point I saw myself and I was like, close your mouth. And I was like. Now close your mouth up. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. I got a well, question. Well, it's is seeing the your pelvic floor specialist is that covered by insurance? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm, it is. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. More you yeah. know. Yeah, and there are therapists, and then there's pelvic floor therapist. You know, so if you're having urinary incontinence, if you're having issues with your um with with going to the bathroom with defecating, if you're having sexual concerns with pain, your pelvic floor specialist is who you want to be referred to not so much your physical therapist. Yeah. So okay. um, talk to your doctor if you're having those kinds of concerns because a physical therapist um, is phenomenal. Their work is incredible. But I find for my clients that are having concerns in that region, that a pelvic floor specialist, um, and that's what they do all day, all day long, um, is really beneficial. They understand how the bowl, we call it the bowl, actually works. So go see. Go talk to your doctor and refer to a pelvic floor specialist if you need help. The bowl, exactly. The bowl. Yes, and go to bowl. a real pelvic floor specialist. Do not mm-hmm. go like you see these videos of people massaging you with oil and then slapping your booty. That is not a real masseuse. Go to a real. Yeah, I didn't think about it. a licensed, certified <laughs> Oh, but you know, wait, no are. wait. Before you say certified, you need to say state board certified. State board certified. State and board there certified. are a lot of people who might be really well with their hands. How are not state? Yeah, board certified. go to a state right. board certified. There is a huge difference. There are lots of people out there slinging remedies, and it ain't. It ain't it. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Listen, don't go. Yeah, to cert- certified does not necessarily mean they have a PH and medical license mm-hmm. for that exactly. type of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right. So state board certified. Do your homework. Talk to your doctor and get a state board certified pelvic floor specialist to help you out. So I so Trees, thanks, love, for sharing that with okay. us. I love you. Oh my God. The things we learn on Brown Sugar tonight. Miss T, what's going on with you down there? Uh so before I jump into this um hot topic, random question. Did you guys know that a lot of raids happen around Christmas time? Raids like the dance raids? Raids like it's the police. Raids. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Raids? How? I found really? that out this morning. I went to go teach my yoga class, and uh, one of my students, uh, she owns like a lash company here in town, mm-hmm. and she was saying how um, state board people came through, but normally they like they make a, a they schedule an appointment, but they usually show up early. And she's like, "Yeah, she had learned from her um, state board person that came to check out her shop." Where that uh, apparently state board people will just sweep through, and so do the police for raids really? around Christmas time. I didn't know that. Yeah, wild, ain't it? Ah, that that's good though. They're checking to make sure people are state board certified. <laughs> right, I guess so. <laughs> but speaking of, we're not talking about state board certified. We're talking about people who apparently get you know painful entries. Uh, so. This hot topic, and it kind of goes in what we were talking about before uh, in the first half of the show. So here, a woman sues her ex-boyfriend after his abnormally long eggplant stretched her lotus. Mm -hmm. So she sued her ex-boyfriend. She sued him. Wait, was it just one time? That does not get explained in the article and i'm kind of upset about that but here's what does get explained you're actually going to be pleasantly surprised it's not coming out of england (laughs) the article is coming out of england but the story actually happened in zimbabwe oh zimbabwe Zimbabwe. please tell me they define what they mean by abnormally large you know what and that's the other thing i'm mad at okay let me get through this real quick so i'm gonna give you the highlights of this article so okay. a woman is suing her ex-boyfriend for his abnormally long eggplant allegedly overstretched her uh, lotus. So this lady who is 29, she is planning to go reconstructive surgery after getting intimate with her 37-year-old boyfriend. She wants her boyfriend to pay 150 rand. So remember that Zimbabwe money is 100, I'm sorry, 150,000 rand, which is equivalent to 8,000 British pounds. Uh, for this surgery, and she's report- reportedly taking him to court over it. So, she said she wants uh her boyfriend to pay the money because her lotus was too tight before she met him in 2016. She didn't find out how tight she was until apparently she had sex with him. So she saw homeboy, and he must have been he was quite large. Apparently, he was swinging that thing. He was swinging was- that thing. Elef- elephant trunks Elef- elephant time i guess however so but she decided to take it try she, it she you, you said exactly it. what i said i was she, about to say she tried to take it i was it. trying not to laugh but apparently she was not up. she was not the scream queen and now I she's still- on her you can't blame someone f- for what they're born with it's yeah it's no. a decision you made ma'am decision yes you made. ma'am you you knew what he was packing prior to entry you yeah. saw it now. If that was if it was an assault, that's a different thing. Yeah, but it don't smack it with a deadly weapon. Maybe yeah, maybe she maybe she needs to call weapon. Trees for some people lessons. Maybe, maybe she needs to get a spacer. No, now, she needs the opposite of a spacer. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, that's true. So there is something on the market. I'll, I'll bring her on the show. She de- de- designed this device for women that have partners that are large and uh long it's a bumper guard um and a i have to get guard. her on i'm going to get her on this show i heard of that to talk Just about this device hitting the hitting the yes bottom, right? mm-hmm. so like wait when you say bumpers i think of either a couple of things bumper cars and that little thing that they have for like kids in the bowling alley so that the ball goes all the way down the way and doesn't get hit in the gutters is that what we're talking about <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it, but you never know, seen those things. I've seen that, but not this thing. 
I don't know what it looks like. I haven't seen it. Oh man, I need a visual. I need a visual. I, I, I've spoken to her several times. Actually, we bring were her a, on the show. I need a, I, a, I got a task force thing together with my mentor, Dr. Abib, and she was um she's a part of it. But I've never seen the device. But yeah, her and her and her father created this thing. Um, yeah, fix your mouth, Katie. But uh, I've been <laughs> on the show. And talk about why and what this thing is used for. Uh, but yeah, it's to help women that have partners that are very large. We need large. her and we need Dr. Herbie. See, but I we like do. that. We need, we need them both, right? You need I, what? I like that feeling. The bumper cars? No, like you hitting the hitting the, the base. I like that feeling. I don't like that feeling. So you like the pressure. I love the pressure. So because when it's about intercourse, the question that people don't often think about is it the pressure or is it the fullness that you like both so think about that she's already Teresa's like both. I already know you don't have to both. answer it ladies but you know she just did but that's the question yeah I if think- you like fullness which is the girth or the pressure which is the length right I think I like so. fullness okay I, I'm making you think now yeah because I think about it because I'm like I got an IUD and I don't like it when they hit that thing. You know, I want to get into the toys, but I don't know if I can get into it because <laughs> yeah, now we're all we make it. We're we're gonna, make oh, it. I know. I feel so bad, right? I, I don't. <laughs> we should talk about toys for the holiday for adults. We can talk about that next week. It's, we still we, got time. We still got okay, time. We still got time. And we still got time. Some because Katie is like, uh, seriously, ma'am, it's time to talk about these toys. But this T's talking about, well, I like the fullness and the pressure. I don't know what you like this. T- no, Tracy likes fullness and pressure. I like fullness. You like the fullness. Okay. So that's the question I guess you guys need to answer privately or openly. You can send us an email at Brow Sugar Confessions. Think about the question. Do you like pressure or do you like the fullness? Because what your answer to that question would be is a toy that can benefit you in that area. Mm-hmm. That's why I have the question. So now everyone's everyone's looking up at the ceiling, thinking about like, oh, let me let me squeeze and think about it. So send us an email at brown sugar confessions at gmail.com. Like and say, yeah. And what are you still talking about it, Miss T? <laughs> I'm not thinking about it now, like uh. You're scratching your head. You're not. Yeah, kidding. like I'm really thinking about it. Like, have I had like a full? Have I had a full? But I have I had a length. Do I know the difference? Get a combination. It's the right. Combination. Have I had a combination? I think I haven't had a combination. Maybe that's what it is. Now you now you think now you're going way back in the behind. <laughs> right. I gotta like hit the Rolodex on this one, man. I'll like think about my body count. Like, dang. I can't. The girls, the girls keep count. We keep. I I kept count up until 2020, and now I don't remember nobody. I don't keep. I don't think yeah. I kept count. You know, I they, feel like 2020 was the great reset. The, every, everyone became a virgin all over again. Yes. 2020 <laughs> because everyone we had to isolate. To snap back. We had we had to isolate. So if they weren't already in your house, they don't count. But wait, five guys and uh, some fries. 23 women. What is wait, that? What? That's my body count. Damn. <laughs> there we go, Miss Key. She just said, damn. <laughs> <laughs> she just threw out what was wrong with her. Like, wait, what? Five guys is a surprise? Like, what's happening? <laughs> why am I sweating right now? I don't even know why I'm sweating. <laughs> I was expecting you to throw out your number, Teresa. <laughs> I'm confessing. Okay, she just confessed. I had to think about it. I was like, 23 left. women? Like, there's only five guys and 23 women? I thought this was a scenario <laughs> at one point. <laughs> like, is this a squid game? What level of squid game is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I wasn't prepared, but thank you. Okay, so... <laughs> Now we know what Teresa's number is. We don't need to know your number unless you want to send us <laughs> your number at brown sugar confessions at gmail.com. <laughs> do women keep numbers? Apparently we do. <laughs> now, here's a question I want to know. Do lotus holders 
keep stats like Asian yes. check, Indian yes. check. You do? Yes. You got to. It's a cold world. That's way more important to me. That that's those that's those are stats that matter. Who cares about yeah. those? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You really do? You keep a a checkbook of like, hey, I got this Asian. nationality. Yes. And any dude that, that Saudi Arabian. they don't keep scouts, they Egyptian. lying. Lying. They what? lying. Any 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 guy that says he doesn't thing. keep stats is lying. Most women keep stats. They'd be like, dang. One legged man. Have what? I had a Latino guy? <laughs> Look, when does I was a mixed guy middle- count? Right? When I was in the military and we were in the dorms, my <laughs> homegirls used to have Polaroids and had stats, and they'd be like, I'll trade you this one. And they'd be like, okay. What? <laughs> Baseball cards. I like it. Listen, I remember I learned I a long time ago. on all of this? I'm so old. I, I, hey, I, you, I, you struck I out early and put... you struck out rich. Yeah, right? You win in the so. game. You win you in the game. You hit the lotto. I don't know none of these games. <laughs> You can play these games with the people that are coming to worship you, cult leader. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Be oh like, do I have this person in my cult? I got a red. We're gonna play. The, we're gonna I got play that at the next at the next play party. Who's had an Asian? Show your card. Check bingo yeah. cards. Everybody get a bingo card. <laughs> Everyone get a card. <laughs> said Oprah's Oprah's favorite things. Yes. Doc Val's favorite things. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, I thought everybody kept stats. If not, then what what are we doing? Exactly. I didn't know. Well, hey, not everybody keeps stats. Trace. You didn't have to keep stats, which is probably a good thing. It's probably a good thing. Oh, my God. I think we did not get to a toy the first. I lied. <laughs> this show went right down the bucket of purgatory. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. This probably shows probably two hours by now. Y'all are probably sick of hearing our voices, but we're going to say good night because we don't know what else to say. <laughs> you know what we say on Brown Sugar Confessions. Stay safe and play safe and uh, keep those stats. Um, but that's also important. We're going to see you next week on Wednesday at Power 1017. Good night, you freaks. <laughs> Thanks for listening to another episode of Brown Sugar Confessions on Power 1017. Go to our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram page at Brown Sugar Confessions to like, share, and follow. Stay safe and play safe. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.